Oh look, I got a notification from Finn telling me I need to take action on my pool. I'm gonna show you how to take care of that, coming up. Okay, it's been a few days since I got the fin in the water and the app is installed and you can see here that I have an indicator that says there's three things I have to take action on. So when I open it up, it tells me that my pool is balanced, so that's good, and that it's 70 degrees, which of course is cold, but you know, you'd expect that. It's, it's early in the year, but it'll get hotter, believe me. And uh, it says I need to dip a test strip, which is interesting. That is... Uh, the calibration kit. So scientific instruments usually need some kind of calibration. That's what this kit is for. It's got a paper test strip. You dip in the pool and you take a picture of it with the app. We'll do that in a minute. Then it says it's also time to add shock and time to add chlorine. The coolest thing though, now I've only had this a week, but the coolest thing, if I look at the charts, this is really neat because this tells me the pH is on top and in that blue area means it's good. So I haven't had to do anything with the pH. Uh, then on the sanitizer, you can see, it asked me first thing, first day, it said put in two chlorine tablets. And I did that, I put them into my automatic chlorinator, wide open, and let it run. It was running 12 hours a day early in the week, and I just changed it to run two four hour spots, split, one in the morning and one in the uh, early evening. And then on the bottom, you can see the temperature change too. Last weekend, it was warm, it was sunny. I think it was like 90 degrees. And then it came down because of all the rain and it started creeping up again. So happy about that. All right, so let's see, what do we gotta take action on? So I'm gonna add chlorine tablets. Let's see, what does it tell me to do here? Uh, add two tablets, okay, I'll do that. I'm gonna click later for now. Time to add shock. It's saying shock and swim pouches. I need to add two pouches. Ensure your pump is on. And then let's look at the disc dipping a test strip. Remove a fresh test strip with dry fingers. Carry the strip calibration card on your mobile phone out to your pool. Okay, this is gonna be cool. I'm already out to the pool. Let's do this first. It also has this really cool calibration card and you take a picture of this on that card. Isn't that neat? I think it's neat. Neat technology. All right, so I have to dip this, take photo in natural daylight within 45 seconds after removing from water. Avoid glare and shadows on the card. Well, it's cloudy today, so that should be pretty good, right? All right, dip it in the water for two seconds, take it out, take a picture. Okay, I'm gonna say next. On this. All right, let's try this. All right, that was two seconds. I'm going to hold it on the card and I'm going to say next and then I'm going to do this. Send this test. Send. All right, this is cool. This really is cool. Great job. Yay me. All right, now it's time to add the shock and the chlorine, so I'll get to that next. All right, so the shock and swim stuff, this is non-chlorine, so they actually say you can just broadcast it right over the surface of the water, and you don't have to worry about it being a line or pool or anything like that. Regular shock, you can't do that. So that's what I'm gonna do. chlorine tabs into the chlorinator. Got a couple little pieces left in it from last week. Now I just run the filter. All right, let's see here. Shock. Yep, did that. Check. Chlorine. 
did that. Check. That's it. No actions currently required. All right. Now I can go back to doing nothing until Finn tells me to. So that's what I'm gonna do. Nothing. Just enjoy my pools. Hey, if you'd like more information about Finn, just go to handydad.tv slash Finn. That's spelled P-H-I-N. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one.